Shalom everyone. Today we're looking at Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles, the third observance in the Hebrew calendar and the final festival of the fall season. Sukkot is a week-long celebration that usually takes place in late September or October, according to our calendar, starting on the 15th day of the Hebrew month of Tishrei, just five days after Yom Kippur. Yahweh instructs us about Sukkot in Vayikra, also known as Leviticus, chapter 23, verses 39 to 43, saying, But on the 15th day of the seventh month, when you have gathered the produce of the land, you are to observe the festival of Yahweh seven days. On the first day, you are to take choice fruit, palm fronds, thick branches and river willows, and celebrate in the presence of Yahweh your God for seven days. You are to observe it as a feast to Yahweh, so that generation after generation of you will know that I made the people of Israel live in Sukkot when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am Yahweh your God, complete Jewish Bible. Sukkot is a joyful festival that commemorates Yahweh's provision and presence with his people during their journey through the wilderness. During this time, they lived in temporary shelters, or Sukkot, reminding us that our lives here on earth are temporary and that Yahweh is our ultimate refuge. In Yochanan, also known as John chapter 7 verses 2 to 10, we see Yeshua observing Sukkot. But the festival of Sukkot in Yehuda was near, so his brothers said to him, Leave here and go into Yehuda, so that your Talmudim can see the miracles you do. After his brothers had gone up to the festival, he too went up, not publicly, but in secret. Complete Jewish Bible. Yeshua honoured this time by participating in the festivities in Jerusalem, as it was one of the three pilgrimage festivals where the Jewish people would gather to worship at the temple. During Sukkot, it was traditional to pray for rain and the coming harvest season, recognizing Yahweh's provision. On the final and greatest day of Sukkot, known as Hoshana Rabbah, Yeshua stood in the temple and proclaimed, If anyone is thirsty, let him keep coming to me and drinking. Whoever puts his trust in me, as the scripture says, rivers of living water will flow from his inmost being. Yochanan 7, 37-38, CJB. This declaration was powerful, symbolizing that he is the source of life and spiritual nourishment. For us, Sukkot points to the Messiah's role in our lives as our sustainer and provider. So, why should we, as followers of Yeshua, celebrate Sukkot? Because it connects us to Yahweh's provision, it deepens our understanding of his presence, and it celebrates Yeshua's promise to dwell among us, Yeshua is called Emmanuel, meaning God with us. And just as Yahweh dwelled with his people in the wilderness, Yeshua now dwells with us through his spirit. The book of Revelation also foretells a future Sukkot, when Yahweh's dwelling place will be among his people in a new creation. Observing Sukkot allows us to follow Yeshua's example and celebrate Yahweh's presence and provision in our lives. It's a time to rejoice, to remember that we're just passing through this world and to look forward to the ultimate dwelling with Yahweh in eternity. So as we enter Sukkot, let's embrace its joy and celebrate with gratitude. May it be a time of peace, renewal and a deeper awareness of Yahweh's love and provision. Shalom and Chag Samit Sukkot.